Are you Sigurd Drenger? Uh, Igor! Eivor. If you keep that up, I'll stain the floors. The place could use some color. <laughs> Who are they? All spies. Dressed to look the part of a peasant. Got feisty. Pitchfork. Oh. From this rabid little one. Was a time when you uh, met and slew uh, your enemy on the field before they could dream of things uh, like sending spies. Uh, <laughs> and now we shake hands and make deals. Not my thing. Uh, I figured. I love them whipped, weeping, and reeking of piss. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Good boy. You're free, uh, Saxon piggy. Uh, to run amok uh, to the mercy and uh, fields. Uh, <laughs> uh, I would have let him down easy. Follow me. I'll give you the tour. What do you call this place? I call it the shithole. To the Mercians, it is Repton. Their most revered kings are buried below the church. Imagine their weeping when we drove them out. You plunged your knife deep into the heart of this kingdom. That is right. We've got a number of Saxon nobles lined up with their lips puckered, ready to kiss our asses. The only holdout is King Burgred and his war thane, Leofrid. But my brother is brewing a plan to deal with them. I take it that's where we'll find my brother. Right. Talkers they are, Uba and Sigurd. Might want to take the wax from your ears. Don't play me for a fool, Abba. I know Burger. I'm not going anywhere, Bakrat. You have the king on his heels because of me. Because of my men. For which you were paid. But that price does not change because you have caught a whiff of our Hexilver horde. You forget I am a sellsword. I ask what I please, and I take what I'm owed. If I wanted to hear you talk shit, I'd gouge out your tongue and shove it up your ass. Now fuck off. Haggling over silver is a bad look for the son of Ragnar Lothbrok. But worry not, Uba. I have the warriors you need. This is one of them. My worries have vanished. Eivor, wolf kissed. You have come at just the right time. Uba and Ivar here are hunting a king. And when we caught him, we mean to crown another. Our dear Thane Chelwolf here. It's not a role I begged for, but it's what Mercia needs just now. A man to fairly rule both Saxons and Danes. I can't imagine the current king is too happy about all this. Burgred is furious, of course. But this is our new reality. And I won't sit idly while he drags our kingdom through the dirt. The king has refused our offers of peace. Jailwolf means to change that. There'll be a new king for a new England. For now, Burgred is holed up in his fortress at Tamworth, making a final stand. Another shithole, only further south. We've held a siege there for weeks to no effect. So, no more knocking. Now we batter the gate to splinters. If we take Tamworth, 
Remove Burgred and crown Shellwolf. Come morning, this Shire is ours. And Mercia soon after. Yes. Remove. I cannot stress that enough. Bugred is not to be harmed. My legitimacy as king hangs on this one simple fact. Uh, you rob all the joy from war, Saxon. Not every victory needs to be marked by the slaughter of a king. Ah, but it is much better. His request is fair, Ivar, and we will honor it. This is a good plan, brother. I am ready for the coming fight. Agreed. Yet remember this. Whatever you stand to gain here, so do we. An alliance between my clan and Mercia's crown. See this man installed on his throne and you will have it. I swear. The bold sons of Ragna bellow to sound the spear din and the thunder of shields. So let fall the arrow storm. The battle begins. Ah! You never said this one was a poet. I need to piss. We have a forward camp just north of Tamworth. Will you go with us? Lead the way. Take in the sights of Repton if you like. We will be at the docks when you are ready to go. I'm glad you and your brother have come. If only to bring some measure of calm. Ease yourself, Cheowulf. We all stand to benefit. And you'll be remembered for this for years to come. For all the wrong reasons, I fear. A lively town. Quite a lot to see here. So, some of us are staying behind as I hear it. Half the army's already in Tamworth, and we've now got help from the south. It's our lo Cast out this land, my friend. Bring the men to the gates of Tamworth. We'll flood the fields, and Burgred shall weep at the sight of what the future holds for this kingdom. Eivor, is your axe sharpened? I'm ready for the spear din. And the thunder of shields, yes. It's good to have you with us. To fight beside such legends is an honor. I've only heard tales of your conquests. Now I get to live them. We'll weave our sagas together. Thread upon thread. Come on, boy. We'll forge a man from your softness, hammered on the anvil of Long war. Does not need to fight to be Move. a... Move! Move! Come, Ivar. The fight's not here. Aye. The fight is nowhere to be found in this boy. A boy who happens to be Chelwolf's son. Why is he not in his quarters? Our future king wants a battle-hardened heir. Time he proves his worth, don't you think? Not yet crowned king and already grooming his successor. That shows some boldness. Right. And bold kings need bolder sons. Ivar! He comes with us. And should anything happen to this little sprout, I will bear the punishment our future king inflicts. He'll want to remove your head. Ha <laughs> ha, you hear that, boy? You die, and I'll have to kill your father, too.
Mount up, Eivor. It's a long ride to Tamworth. Have to endure, my brother. He always finds new ways to humor himself. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> and both eyes open. You smell that, Jailbird? The stink of jealousy. Of our budding friendship, I think. What is Jailwolf's son doing in Repton at all? It's Jailwolf's way of proving his loyalty. And there's no safer place for a traitor and his son. In the middle of a pack of days. Say from who? You and Ivar seem to have brought this Shire to help. Fears are with us, the common folk. But Burgred still has his soldiers all over Mercia. They're devoted to him, and they'll die defending him. Your voice, Eivor. You sound different than the brothers. Good ear, Lord. Most in England cannot tell the difference. Not all Danes are Danes. From where do you come, if I may ask? North of the Danelands. A place called Fonberg, in Norway. I didn't know there was land north of there. What are the people like? You ever see a herd of sheep follow each other off the edge of a cliff? I like that. The ones who remained, anyway. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> was this a mass exodus from Norway, then? It was. Norway is now the province of a young king, Harald by name, a boy wise beyond his years. Are you not angry that he has displaced you and so many others? I was, for a time. But our weeks at sea have softened my brow fire. If I am honest, I realize I quite admire King Harald, by words and by weapons both. He has pacified the country I call home. For the first time in any man's memory, or any scald's song, Norway has one king. Just one. And that is quite a feat. That is impressive. Truly. England is half the size of Norway, and yet we have four kings for our four kingdoms. You see? How could I not be impressed? No, Harald is a good man with grand ideas. I can see that now. I am only six years his junior, and have yet to see my first battle. I cannot imagine the skill and cunning he has. Your first battle is coming, young Gilbert. From this day on, you may see rapid progress. I'm not sure I want so swift a rise. In truth, Gilbert, it is my father who bears the heaviest weight of my anger, not King Harold. My father gifted my birthright to Harold without my consent or knowledge, as easily as if he might hand over a battle of meat. It was not merely a deception, it was a betrayal of trust. The prick of which still stings me. Be it a blessing or a curse, family is always first. A good line, boy. Were you not an Adeling, I would hire you as my scold. Scold? It sounds something like Scott, our court poets. Is that what you mean? Right again. Fascinating. The harmony between our words and yours is quite something. As if we were distant cousins, separated by an ocean of time as well as space. <laughs> I like the thought of that. I do. Pagan rats, ravenous, unseemly beasts, teeming over holy ground. Have a care, Lord. Those pagan rats are numberless. I can see that, fool. What do we do about them? I advise we strongly consider their demands, Lord. We won't survive a fight. Is that you, Leofric? How quickly you recover! I'm beginning to wonder if it is a man or a god beneath all that armor. A man of God stands before you, Eva. Proud and resolute. That's Burgred's war thing. Killed a dozen of our men in an ambush along the River Trent. It was Ivar's axe that stopped him. That is a poor description of a perfect 30-yard toss. Enough joying, heathens! Speak your peace! 
We've come for your crown, Lord. With or without your head attached. I admire your ambition, Pagan. But what you ask is impossible. No Dane ever has or ever will occupy Mercia's sacred throne. Not to worry. We have a Mercian of our own. Jail wolf, you mean? Ha! <laughs> when I'm done with you lot, I'll execute that foolish thing for treason. My king, may I suggest a more measured approach to this? I grow weary of this palaver. You have trampled our lands, toppled our monuments. We've given you silver, fed your people. And yet, in spite of all this, your encroachment on my kingdom continues! No more! We will die defending what is ours, whatsoever the cost! If you want my crown, Uber Ragnarsson, you must pry it from the hands of my bloodless corpse! Man the walls! Back to the camp! Round up the men. We're taking Tamworth tonight! Eivor, tell the captain we're ready to march. Eivor and I will round up the men. You know your way around a battling map. I've seen them in action. I want you at the helm of ours. Strong and agile. I'll be there. As will I. For a worthy challenge. Hey! I'll teach you how to steer! Who are you? I'm with the Reknesons. It's time to roll out the battering ram. Birgrid wanted a fight. Now we'll give him one. Are you ready to march now? Let's go. It's time to capture a kingdom. What are we going to do about him? Jail there. Something wrong. I know these men, Adol. I've supped with them. Not two weeks ago, Leofrith showed me how to wield a greatsword. He's a friend. Friendships end, often at the point of a spear. It cannot be that cold. Least of all with Leofrith. He is only following orders. When the march begins, find an empty tent and stay there. Do not think me a coward. I am not afraid of war. I do not want to kill my friends. There's no other way. Fight or hide. It's up to you.
Saxon's Lord feeds this land, and it is we Norse who march all over it. Borglen, ah. I'll find you, you little rat. Do you hear me? It's over, Burkret. Lay down your weapons and surrender. Come, help me with this. Take three men and search the rear. Look around. See what you can find. I'll send for Chael Wolf. Tell him we found a throne. Ah, that was a good scuffle, hmm? But I did not. Hey, I'll stay see with you, me, old friend. You? Ah, that was a good scuffle, hmm? But I did notice the short one Atheling. Where was the son of our king? Chilbert was around, but maybe you missed him. Your lies are just like you, eh, Or Big and old. Seems Leovred is at odds with his king, but bound to duty. A loyal man. Burgred called for help. Enlisted the aid of powerful men. But who are these warriors he speaks of? Ivar, I found a letter. There's a symbol here. Your men have any luck? Nothing. You? This. Do you know that symbol? Tona Sigil. It seems she's been dealing with Burgred as well. The wretch. She was the mercenary barking at you in Repton, yes? She's playing both sides of this war. She could have told him anything. Sold him secrets about me, about Repton. Our plans. Why bother with all this pageantry? Fashion a new crown and stick it on your melon. There you have it. You're the new king. That is not how it works. Not in Mercia. You were one of Burgred's thanes. You must have some sense of where he'd be. Burgred had his secret haunts, but he never told me of them. Kept me quite in the dark. For good reason, I suppose. Tona is our only lead. We talk to her, find out what she knows. I would sooner launch my face into my axe than face her. That might improve her impression of you. We have the same father, Eivor, but his mother was a sow. Meet us at Tona's camp when you're finished here, and bring your patience and your axe. Eivor, a word, if you would. Go, I'll catch up. I will join the brothers, Eivor. Meet us at Tona's. My son told me what happened earlier, with Eivor pressuring him to fight. He said you intervened. You would be mourning your son if I hadn't. He's not a fighter. No, but he should be. By trial or by training. 
He'll come around in time, but keep him from Ivar if you can. He's the furthest thing from a mentor. Not going to end well. Just keep your wits about you. Calm, Ivar. Sigurd, is there a problem? We'll go see Tomna. Just the two of us. Ivar and Uba will wait here. Better if Tomna thinks we've come alone. The truth is, I don't think any of us can stop Ivar from cleaving her head open. It's all he was spewing the whole way over here. Right. Shall we? We'll return shortly. A small fortune for whoever sent Tona to hell. I'll hold you to that. From what I overheard in Repton, the brothers had an arrangement with Tona. What happened? She's a mercenary. Uba used her for man and information. But that relationship soured now that Burgret is all but defeated. From what I heard, Tona has hunger for two things. Soft silver and a stern hump. Neither of which earns you true loyalty. If she can't be trapped. is for us to find out. We may be able to satisfy her. And if we can't? Eva did tell you to bring your axe. And here they are, as expected. She takes... Sigurd, what brings you strolling into my camp this brisk day? I suspect you already know. Yes. <laughs> the embers on the air betray you. And yet... If you are here talking to me, King Burgered remains at large. And who are you, lovely dove? Want to perch your ass on my lap? That's not why I'm here. Where is King Burgered? That is what you want. And what makes you think I have the slightest idea? We found letters. Records of trade. The two of you have a history. What can I say? The king pays well for my services. If only I could say the same for those two Ragnarsson clods. You're dealing with me now, and I want to know what you know. Name your price. Very well. I could use another cow. And you can cover the cost. You take me for a fool. I take you for desperate beggars. I can smell it on you like dung heap. Now that's my price. What say you? You heard me the first time. But I'll get what I need one way or another. No, no. You have shot your chance. And if you show your faces around here once more, I will tear you limb from limb. Well, that is not the result I was hoping for. I hope you have another idea. Tona keeps a close eye on whoever she deals with. If Burgred is keeping records, so is she. Somewhere behind those walls. See what you can find. I'll go back to the brothers. Keep those gates locked. If they come within a foot of you, kill them! To hell with you! Clever. Let's see what secrets you keep, Tona.
this might be something. Looks like Burgred once paid Tona to steer the Ragnarsons away from two areas. Burgred's private hunts, perhaps. He could be at either one. Shouldn't have been so greedy, Tona. Right, back to the brothers. <laughs> Eivor, tell us you learned something. Let Estra and Templebroth fought. What do you know about them? Hmm. Ledichester is a large village. And Templebroch, it's an old military fort. Not much else. Burkrit could be at either one. We should check both as soon as possible. And what do we do with Tona? I would bet the sweat off my sack she's writing to Burkrit now, offering silver for a warning about us. You won't be seeing her again, not unless you're bound for Helheim. I'll collect now, if you don't mind. Ah, this one takes after me, brother. We should get moving, Dringir. I can take the fortress of Templebroch. I will join you, Sigurd. That leaves me Ledichester, then. All by my fucking lonesome. Bring a friend, brother. Maybe Eivor dares to be called that. Go on ahead. I'll catch up with all of you soon. We would have stormed the place without you. What have you seen? Soldiers aplenty, wagons going in and out. That weasel Borgred is here, I'm sure of it. The bathhouse there and that church, see? I sent a scout to check them both. Should be back at any moment now. Did you see Uba and Sigurd in Templebroch? No. And if Borgred is hiding here, I won't have to. There is a lot we would not have to do if we stuck to killing kings. Thanks to my brother, now we are into making them. Abba has his way and you have yours. That much is clear. I'm not here to play favorites. No. You are here to make your mark. I know what it means to be a young Dranger. You think of glory and destiny. You've got me all figured out. I know your type, Wolfkist. But me, I am not looking as far into the future as you. Time's up for your scout, I'd say. He's either dead or run off. Give him a chance. Can't risk them seeing us and Burkrit slipping away again. You stay here and wait for your scout. I'm going in. Church is well guarded. Might find a way around. I should be cautious around here.
Keep it up, lads. Every little bit helps. The farmers are starting to push back. Then kindly remind them of their duty to Mercia and to their king. You heard Leia of Prith? Secure whatever food you can. The Danes won't hesitate to burn our fields, and if we can't eat, we can't fight. <laughs> Quite a haul of goods they've hidden away. Crates full of food and supplies. Burgret's not giving up without a fight. Jailbird. Eivor! Have you lost your mind? I feared you were one of them. Keep quiet. What are you doing here? I'm... I was looking for Burgred. You are Eva's scout. I hoped I might find Burgred myself and talk him into surrendering. But he's not in Leatherchester. How can you be sure? Leofrith passed this way with some men. I eavesdropped. It seems they're only stockpiling food here. But he did say something of interest. Gave orders to send more men to Burgred's wife, the Lady Arvilswith. She's in Templebloch. She would know where Burgred's hiding. Did you hear that? The sounds of battle. Eva! Let's get you out of here now. Where are you going? I know my way around. We'll go through the market. This way. up I I don't think so my god I didn't want it to come to this it would have killed you Chilbert you had no choice now don't move where is your king Saxon where is he Lord our father grant me salvation when does their god find the time to answer so much mumbling and whimpering? You're reckless, Ivar. Cheobed could have been killed. Who am I to stand in the light of a boy searching for his boss? Don't excuse yourself. You enjoy this too much. Stop. It wasn't Ivar who sent me. I sent myself. Have caution, boy. Until your father is crowned your Mercia's enemy, not its champion. You understand? 
I understand. Good. Now return to Repton and remain there until we call. Will you not stay, Wolfkist? There is no king, but we have corpses to loot. Burgrid's lady Arthur's with is in Templebroth. I'm going to find out what she knows. Fire! There! Ready! Focus. Oh. Take everything! Take it, take it. up! Anything again. We've told you everything. Won't you let us go? Aver, there you are. What's with the prisoners? Man from the fortress, out on patrol. We squeeze them. Burger's not here. It's his queen they're guarding. Others with. They must have separated off the Tomworth. I heard as much from Chaelbert in Lerichester. Chaelbert? What was he doing there? Ivar. Too long a tale for now, but he's fine. I send him to Repton. What's the plan here? It won't be long before someone comes looking for these men. We need to get inside and find Alan's will. Capture a queen to find a king. It might work. Only one way to find out. See if you can get anything more out of them. Me and Aber will take care of fetching Alan's will. Oh, then guide you. Saxons won't welcome us through the front door. We could find a quiet way in, or we can take a long ship. I'm beside you either way. Ah, oh, Haber. I have dreamt of this day. Of scouring the Shire in search of a king. Of going a viking good. With you. With our brothers and sisters. Conquering you. Forming lasting friendships. I should not be seen in this area. As am I, brother. Lady Athelswith, I see Burgred has done his best to hide you away. But what is lost must always be found. Let my handmaidens walk free of this place. They have nothing to do with our quarrel. You hear that, Aver? Noble. Selfless. This is the sword you must strike a bargain with. A woman of quality. We seek only your king, lady. Tell us where Burgred hides, and we will leave without an ounce of blood spilled. Please, I... I don't... I don't know. Effective, Sigurd. She is only naive to her present danger, but she will soon understand. Wait. Those are the hands of one who washes linens. A servant. She is a decoy. Watch the handmaidens. I'll follow Athel's with. Stop! Do that! Hey!
from me. Help! Help me! My husband will send you all to hell. Uh, quite clever, your ladyship. You're certainly making us work for it. Keep your hands off me, pagan! Have you lost your sense of hospitality? I regret asking. Stay away from me! Let me go! I demand it! After what you put me through, I would have to be mad. Do you understand what you're doing, Pagan? I am the Lady of Mercia. My husband will send you all to hell. Ugh. You're wasting your time. I won't talk. Not to you, not to any of you barbarians. You may reconsider, if only for your people. Who knows how many more might die at the hands of us barbarians. You don't frighten me. Then you are a fool. Stop what you are doing at once. Lady Othersquith, you have seen better days. God will sear your soul, heathen, if he can find it. Why, the cat shaver? She's as much a poet as you. Where's my Catelyn? What have you done with her? Your handmaiden, you mean? The brave one, dressed in royal finery? Season change with the others. I'll take them back to Tamworth. Get them talking. If she has so much as a scratch on her... I will inform Cheowulf. He might have some ideas on how to get through to her. I will meet you there. Sigurd, what about these prisoners? We've got what we need. Let them go. Thank you. Thank you, friend. Something going on. Your turn. She won't talk to me. Favor will handle it. Go on. You've exhausted my friend Abba here. But I'm wide awake. Maybe tell me where Burkett's hiding and let him rest happy. Never. Stone-faced and tight-lipped, all for a king who hides like a cowardly bull. Too scared to protect his family and his people. Thirsty? <laughs> My husband does what he must for Mercia. How could he do otherwise, knowing that even his closest friends could betray him? Give that traitor Cheowulf my message. He may win this earthly battle, but the devil has won the war for his soul. He stabbed you in the back, true. But the people of Mercy are scared, and Cheowulf offers them a balm for that fear. I spit on him. Whatever life he makes in Mercia will be built on the graves of the nobles who gave their lives to defend it. The longer you drag this out, the truer that becomes. We've taken Repton, Tamworth, now Templebroch, and Lerichester. With each victory, your hope for peace recedes. Yet Borgred has what you do not. The loyalty of his people. Good men. Faithful men. Who? The Thanes and Chaos of Mercia? No, no. Only Leofrith remains loyal, and he too will fall. Yes, goodly Leofrith. He will die defending his king. And win or lose, he will send a hundred more of you to hell. Eivor, your ladyship, do not mind me. Only here to count my spoils. Oh, God! Out, Eivor. Now. All right, all right. But if you mean to stay, mind the smell after they finish this. 
My, my god! Get me out of here! Please! Talk now, and we'll draw you a nice warm bath. You... You are asking me to betray my husband. How can I do that? If you don't, you will betray countless others. In legend, you may be remembered as the king and queen who abandoned their kingdom in its darkest hour. But there will be peace. This is Cheol's promise, and it will be honored. You have my word. Does the caged bird sing? Burgred is hiding in an old crypt to the south. ...where the Alni and Aero Rivers join. A crypt? Now tell me this is not a sign from the gods. It's a long way to carry a king. The three of you must clear a path back to Tamworth. Where can we meet? Bring him to the bridge at Venonus. It's a straight line through. We'll deal with any trouble there. The heads were a nice touch. I'm not one for spectacle, but it got her talking. Spectacle? That's just me. Pile the soldiers here. Let these people bear witness to the carnage that awaits their kingdom. Must be getting close. No, no, it can't be! Stay back! That's a bread knife, my lord. Do you mean to butter me? Stay back! Back, I say! I'll fight you! If you insist. You'll have to kill me! Luckily for you, it won't. I won't let that. you do this! kingdom is mine! Mine! Time to go, my lord. We're late for the crowning ceremony.
we are. Look familiar? No! No, you... You godless slugs! You won't get away with this! Change has come, Burgred. All that remains is a coronation. A witten with the Lords of Mercia. Burgred, my love! My lady, are you injured? Did they hurt you? No, no. I'm fine. Move along, Lord. Your king awaits. Your death will come, Danes. Your end was writ the moment you came for me. I have made damn sure of that. The zealots will know your name soon enough. No matter where you are or how far you travel, they will hunt you down. Enough of that, you squeaking sparrow. <laughs> Let my brother be the lunatic of Tamworth. Zalit? What does he mean? Ignore him. Desperate pleas and prophecies, nothing more. Walk with me, Wolfkist. We have some time before the ceremony. Where to? Nowhere in particular. I only want to celebrate. Didn't think you were the type. You have drawn a dark conclusion about me, haven't you? That is all well and good. I've drawn some about you as well. Are you leading a land to slaughter? See what I mean? Dark. Too dark. You there! Get lost! Sit down. I know I have been a cock, but you are a good fighter. I respect that. Let it be said that Ivar the Boneless considers Eivor a friend. Who calls you boneless? Some backrout I killed in Hibernia. Used his guts to shine my spear. Called me boneless because I move like a reed in the wind. Not because you're always too drunk to plow? Valhalla. That is where I am bound. I can smell the blood and taste the mead. I will sit beside the High One with my axe in hand. A fitting end for Reknason. You would think, eh? Me, Hafton, we will be there. But Uba... No. I do not think we are chasing the same victory. Not anymore. What does Abba want? To grow old and fat on the farm somewhere with little Ubers to chase about. He wants an heir. It's a common dream. Not for a warrior. Not for Drengir like us. He was different before. But this place, England, it softened him. People change. And it may be that you change with them, or you go your separate ways. If it bothers you so much, why not strike out on your own? Because he is my brother. I love him. And I will do what it takes to drag him back around to my way of thinking. We are warriors, all. And that is to the death. did myself again. <sighs> did I miss the crowning?
Where is my son? We sent word to Repton, but we've had no word, Lord. I suggest we carry on. You sought me out, old friend. And here I am, standing before the throne from which I reigned not long ago. You stand before us to accept this Witten's unanimous decision that you are unfit to rule and are hereby deposed. We demand the abdication of your kingdom and your crown to Thane Cherwolf. Mercia has spoken, Lord. The crown. Is that you, old friend? Ah, yes, I see it now. <laughs> Forgive me. The robes of righteousness sit so loosely upon your shoulders. If the heavens mismark me as king, Forgive its obscuring light. Amen. Now, where is my crown? Forgive my nerves. Here I am, an upright man who never once learned how to bend the knee. And yet... I shall try. Ah, how simple it is. How easy to kneel without fear and feeling. He's mocking you, man. I'd kill the fucker. Worry not, Dane. I shall resign this crown and this pagan-infested kingdom and the favors of these two-faced men. But I will do so on my terms. My demands are simple. Firstly, you must... <coughs> you fool. Look around you. You have no leverage here. Plead for your life. For it is the only thing these men will grant you. Yes. Yes. Forgive me, I, I... Do not harm me. I beg of you. Please. I'll go anywhere. Here. I, 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 I resign it. Here. Take this lord and his wife to Rome. He is hereby exiled. Never to return. The Witten recognizes King Cherwolf of Mercia, second of his name. A just king, a merciful king. God save the king! It better be worth all this trouble. Mercian soldiers marching on Repton! Leofrid. Loyal to the ugly and the bastard. Gather what men you have and split them between the north and south gates. That should divide his forces. Cheobert is there. Evo, you must save my son. You'll come through this, I promise. I will stay here with Cheobert. Go. Have you seen Cheobert? No, but we caught sight of Leofi, fleeing across the river. He was chasing someone. It has to be Chelbert. He's the only prize worth taking in this mud sink.
miles ahead. Jailbeard, he's in trouble. I won't back down, Leobrith. I will not. Please, you do not want to do this. Leofrith, let him walk. You answer to me. I answer to my king. Our silence deeds with this. Lay it by, Leofrith. There's nothing left to fight for. We've stormed Repton. Only a matter of time. I cannot do that. Then you will die. Someone will. You can't win this, Leofrit. Even if you defeat me, the Agnesons have won the day. I have fought many a day in my time. I am still standing. I will make you feel pain. Bergrid was lucky. To stand in the way of you and Mercia is my duty. I will die before I yield. <laughs> How does it feel? You're good to take that! Not bad. How does it feel? Finished. Not yet. Fight me, heathen. You cannot win. Go on, then. End it. No appeal to your guard? Or your king? I swore an oath to Sir Borgrid to the death. I fought. I lost. We both know how this goes. An honorable thane fighting a dishonorable war. Burgred abandoned him, betrayed his trust. If I were Leofrith, I'd want to know. Why rob him of this last glory? A warrior ready to meet his god and bask in his praise. To live will only lead him to shame. It's not an oath he would keep if he knew the truth. Then choose. Truth or glory. Stand, Leofrith. Live to fight another day. What? Your loyalty to Burgred is not a loyalty returned. He resigned the crown and fled to Rome. He's gone. You lie. Lie to a man seconds from death. What would I gain? He saved himself and left you to die. All this fighting, it's for nothing. For no one. To betray one so trusted so close. It's a dishonor worth a thousand deaths. Eivor. You have shown me a great kindness. It, it is only fitting that I do the same. At Venonis, there is a statue with a scroll laid in a small bowl. You must burn it. A scroll? Your name is on this scroll. At Burgred's request, I put it there. When it is found, the zealots who read it will hunt you. Who are they? 
It doesn't matter now. You haven't much time. Burn the scroll, or they will never stop hunting you. Where will you go now? Rome. Come on, let's take you back. Careful, you're injured. I'm all right, really. A few nicks and cuts from the battle, that's all. These wounds will heal quickly. You're lucky. I threw myself at him, Abel. But he only toyed with me. He knew I couldn't touch him. You should have stayed here, Joe Bill. This wasn't your fight. It was. It was our fight. Yours, mine, my father's. I had to help. And you did. You showed courage today. Bravery. You're a boy no longer. Back there with Leofred. I didn't think you'd spare him. There is no honor in killing a man misled. He believed his king would die fighting for Mercia. He knows the truth now. And with that truth, he forged a new path. You're right about him, Chelbert. Chelbert! Look at you! Bloody and battle-worn. Could be chieftain of your own clan with courage like that. No less than the king of Mercia, brother. One of these days. And how is my father taking to his new role? See for yourself. You're an Otlinger now. Or Aetling, I think you'd say. Next in line for the throne. It's an honorable title. One that demands good judgment. Be careful who you trust. My son. Are you well? Yes, father. Well enough. We honored you today. Fought bravely against many stalwart foes. You have my thanks. All of you. And my blessing. Abba and Eva lost countless men in this fight. You want to show your thanks? Hold to your end of the bargain. Of course. All of England will soon know that the Kingdom of Mercia has a new and powerful king. The remaining kingdoms of England won't respect your path to power. Nor will many in my kingdom. Burgred's soldiers will stand tall in the face of this turmoil, all across Mercia, against us. That we shall remedy soon enough. I am riding for Oxenifordshire directly, to forge an alliance with some thanes there. Shall I go with you? Not till I know more. Linger here a while if you can. Strengthen our friendships. I will send for you soon enough. Sigurd, I would feel better if Chaelbert was away from here until Mercia is more stable. Would you welcome him among your clan? Hmm. Do you have a horse, young Adeling? I do. A young steed called Theobald. Good. I can ride with you as far as the River Nene. You may find your way from there. Thank you, Sigurd. This puts my mind at ease. Be ready for my call, Eivor. It will come. You and Sigurd make a good pair. The future of England will be pagan from top to bottom. Take this, Wolfkist. As a sign of friendship. And should you call, the brothers Ragnarsson will come. You honor me, Abba. See that? Sly bastard, trying to win your heart. Well, two can play at that game. How kind of you, Ivar. My pleasure. Our friendship is the best thing to come from this mess. Maybe Chelbert too, the brave little twig. That's good to hear. Now then. Leovrit said there are hunters after me. Zealots. If I don't clear my name, I'll be marked for death. I should head to Venonis. <laughs> now it seems the wind calls me back to Randy. Best tell her the good news. There. 
That's the statue the zealots used. Done. Nothing but smoke and ashes now. That should get those zealots off my back. This will make a fine space for my work, Eivor. Thank you. Well, if your work benefits us, I will see that you keep it for as long as you live among us. I believe it will, for we have common cause against our enemy. They have dug their claws deep into England. Eradicate them where they are strongest, and the alliances you seek will be far easier to come by. In London, they now operate without restraint. If you were to eradicate them, the city would be in your debt. I will talk with Ranvi about your idea. Get her thoughts. Good. Yet, before you do, there is something else. A gift I wish to share. A gift? I cannot show you here. Will you walk with me? I will. Lead on. I hear a heaviness to your breathing, Hytham. Does your wound still trouble you? It does, I'm afraid. There is a pain in my chest for which I have no remedy. Rest easy, then. So long as your mind stays sharp, you will recover. Of course. Though I am reluctant to displease my mentor. You risk your health and your life to please Basim. That I do not understand. I should not expect you do. When we first arrived, I noted a shadow of suspicion in your eyes. A doubt. A wariness. Is that a question? No. Only an observation. Are you well enough to steer this boat? I am. Have no worry. It is only prolonged stresses that exhaust me. My energy runs low rather quickly. What is this gift you wish to give me? It will not come from me. It is a gift you must give yourself. More riddles. What fun you are. Let me say it another way. My gift is not for giving or taking. It is a way of living. Still no clearer. It is a thing better demonstrated than described. Then I will wait. Forgive my jest. This gift we call a leap of faith. It is one of our Brotherhood's most sacred rites. It is not a tool we use against our enemies, but an act we embrace to strengthen our resolve. Like your meditation, it centers our minds, steadies our hands, and purges fear from our hearts. And more practically, it aids our movements, in flight or in stealth. You call it a leap, and we're climbing a rather steep hill. <laughs> there it is again, the shadow of a doubt. Nearly there. Our destination is there. I suspect you mean to throw me off this cliff. Is that it? Please tell me if I'm near the mark. <laughs> to perform the leap of faith, you must give yourself over to something greater. The gods? Yourself. Embrace the hope that death will not come before you are prepared to meet it. Believe this, and you will fear nothing. Our deaths are prefigured, weaved into the fabric of the world. To fear this would be a waste of worry and tears. Good. Then your mind is already attuned to my lesson.
I will leap first. On my word, you must follow. Lean into your faith, into your strength, and take flight. You want me to jump from here? Yes. I would sooner grow wings and fly away. Thank you for the lesson, but... Wait! And watch! Hide them! Hide them! Pig-headed fool! I... <clears throat> A perfect fall! And how did it feel? You spoke true. It was madness and vigor and perching of fear. A gift I give myself. I see that now. Thank you for showing me the way. Of course. And thank you, Eivor, for hearing me out. You called this leap of faith a sacred rite. Do all hidden ones practice this same ritual? As far as I know, it is a rite of initiation that dates back to just before the birth of the Christian Jesus. Are you hoping to initiate me? I might try if I believed you would join, but that is not my purpose in England. Basim and I are hunting larger prey. The Order of Ancients. Yes. You remember the medallion you took from Kyotve's body? That is their symbol. They are a plague, one we hope to purge from this world. Like us, they act in secret. But their aim is to rule the world, not free it from unnatural fetters. The desire to rule is not unique to this order. Sigurd and I want the same, a land to call our own, and the honor that comes with it. Do not compare yourself to such people. The order has no honor, no principles, no humanity. Yet they sit on a great many of England's thrones. If you seek to pacify England for the safety of your clan, then it may be in my interest to give you aid. I understand. You desire alliances. We seek to rid England of its deepening rot. Where these hopes meet, our cause does too. You may think this land ruled by harmless jarls and bumbling thanes. Yet look more closely, and you will find a deeper threat. The Order's invisible hand touches all. It shapes everything, instilling its poison into every level of society. From the lowliest fishmonger to the richest merchants, from wealthy thanes to useless kings, the Order has corrupted all. Bassam has given me one task here. To locate and eliminate the Order of Ancients in England, in whatever dark corners they reside. If we work together towards this end, it will benefit us both. You will have greater influence over the kingdoms of England. And you will have more medallions to count. Exactly. You should begin in London. I have credible reports that the Order is working now to seize the city. I will speak with Randy about this. And while you are there, be on the lookout for our symbol. Centuries ago, the Hidden Ones had bureaus built around England. There were six, I believe. If you can find them, search them well for documents bearing the same symbol. It will greatly aid my studies. I will. Thank you, Hytham. For all of this. to go. Then go in peace. The message has come. Glad to see you made it, Shelbert. Thanks to Sigurd. He was a good guide and even better company. He told me some incredible stories. The best ones were about you. Hopefully nothing too embarrassing. There were a few gems. Not to interrupt, Eivor, but what of Lady Chestershire? The Alliance has won. The sons of Ragnar are friends to our clan. Glad to hear it. Well done to you both. Eivor, a word of note. Someone has set up shop outside. 
A trader, I believe. When you can, ask him his business here. He seems to represent a larger guild. The child's eyes, or the eyeless children? Eyeless children? No, that cannot be right. Ask him yourself. long in England, have you? I see by this map you have barely scratched Mercia. Give it time, little lord. Wessex untouched? Northumbria barren? You still have much to see. Yes, it is a work in progress. 